Schultz was hoping to apply the 1 a.m. curfew to the non-alcoholic bar as well. Does a 1 a.m. closing time for dance halls really infringe on a sacred right? Or does it balance the right of people who want to attend such establishments with the rights of others in our community? But dozens who oppose limiting Liquid Motion's hours of operation voice support for the dance club's owners, who want to stay open till 3 a.m. Liquid Motion owners Ron Friedman and Brandon Neustel were content to let scores of others speak for them, including their attorney, William Kirshner. And what we are doing is gathering and, and speaking and dancing and expressing ourselves beyond 1 o'clock. And what we're, that's what the crux of this is. The ordinance under review by the commission brings up legitimate questions raised by the police. Concerns that drugs and alcohol may become a big problem in dance clubs, also known as rave parties. Although Mayor Bruce Furness agreed with police concerns, he seemed swayed by the majority who showed up and said he was willing to listen to more. What we, the way we normally do this is people in favor of this particular proposition are encouraged to speak first and then we'll hear from people who oppose. Now that the city has taken no action on the ordinance and a controversial liquor license has been surrendered, dance club owners say they're anxious to open. Well, we're opening Thursday night at 10 p.m. In Fargo, Patrick Sawyer, CBS4 News. But the matter isn't over yet. The city has scheduled another hearing in two weeks.